Hello and welcome back to the Imperium, my friends. My name's Kalan and we're in toxic fallout mode. Thankfully, we have our indoor farm. We have more than enough food. We are at 3,053 and that's just what's in here. I do not believe that includes all of the corn and rice we, we currently actually have. Uh, which will eventually start going off, so we should probably try and do something about that. Which is, coincidentally, today's mission. The today's mission, if I choose to accept it, is to essentially finish this area of the um, of the base, of the permanent base. Smooth it out, carve it out, clean it up, and haul all these fucking rocks out of here. Um, that's that's my main mission for today. A secondary mission is I've decided that I will be going for the incapacitated refugee uh, over here. 5.2 days. Takes three and a half days to get there. But we need everyone we can get. And a lot like with the prisoners needing to break their resistance before you can then recruit them. It makes it a lot harder to get uh, more colonists via the capture and... Uh, convince method. So, I will be doing that, but the main mission today is to hollow this out. We need to get moving. Get everyone up who needs to... Oh, uh, well, that's not good. Why are you insulting people? Literally just fucking started. You're, you're hungry and you've observed a, ro a rotten corpse. Well, that doesn't help you if you start insulting people. You're drowsy, you're sick. Go to bed. Starforger just wants to eat Pemmican? What are you even eating? Consuming pemmican. I'd rather you didn't actually. Do we not have any normal food? Pemmican's good for travel. Uh, Star, can, can you... Can you not? And... Consuming simple meal. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, leave the pemmican alone. In fact, actually, I'm not sure how much pemmican we have left. I thought we had 75, but that's the berries underneath. We, we have a lot of shit in this room. Um, we don't even need the kibble. Okay, you just eat your meal while getting shouted at. And now you're going to go, oh, of course, we've got Wolf in one of our beds. So the Star's just sleeping in a freezer. <laughs> he just, yeah, he wants to sleep in the freezer. That's fine. Uh, can we can we get another bed built, like, instantly? Star, can you, can you please work on that bed? Then you can go to sleep in the bed you built. Much better. Okay, we need a few more beds, apparently. Uh, can you please work on that? And Alex, if you could go there, then... Good work, Star. You're a genius. Love you. The man that you that just insulted you, you built him a bed. That's how. That's the kind of guy Star is. If someone insults him, he'll build him a bed. He, he doesn't give a shit. Okay, what's happening? Trash has flown into a sadistic rage. He's going to vent his anger on the prisoners. Hideous environments. Uh... <laughs> Snowman's trying to recruit Skunk while Skunk's getting beaten in the face. Uh, can you please, Snowman, try to arrest Trash? And the arresting worked. And then... No, they're still fighting! <laughs> that doesn't help at all! Alright, Snowman, just be here whenever one of them's a victor. Okay, cool. Uh, this is fucking ridiculous. Just release him. Just. You can't assign to doctoring. Uh, uh, ja Jackie, can you please tend to trash? Trash is our other good doctor. Who's our other good doctor? Shuzgo. Shuzgo, can you please. Capture skunk and then heal. God damn it. Oh, no, you can put him into the fucking... Put him into the other bed, for Christ's sake. Tending to skunk. Good, thank you. Well, we were going to take trash on our adventure, but I guess we don't now. So with, tra so with trash now arrested and, and people start going to break, who do we take with us to... Uh, okay, we definitely take Alex because he's got a great... Uh, he's really happy right now. We definitely take Puck, because he's relatively happy and got good shooting. And Snowman, I guess. I guess we didn't take these three. So we're going to organise our escape right now in mid-toxic fallout. Just because we want to get on this before the guy or woman, I don't know who, I can't remember what it was, they get killed. 
Okay, we're taking all the wood. We're taking all the um, the food we can. That's all we generally need. Choose roots here to here. Thank you very much. That's the route. Let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so, Trash, who pretty much hasn't really recovered from the last beating, and he's severely, severely unhappy. Trash's mental breakdown is going to induce prisoners to escape. The same prisoner he just laid the shit into. So... Uh, trash demonstrated the means to escape to skunk and promise opportunity. The prisoners are staged stage a breakout and instantly they're attacking each other, I think. Yep. Good, good work, Trash. Where are you, where are you going? Your mental state hiding in room. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, who's... who's Star... Let's just go, just go over there and... Just get him. Just go get him. Just punch Trash on the way through, too, if you don't mind. Yeah, you've you've broken out all right. Oh Jesus, you're doing a lot of damage to that wooden wall. Holy fuck. How are you doing so much damage? How are you that strong? Jesus, you're too smart apparently. You're too smart for this prison. Guard star. Yeah, perfect. And unfortunately, this isn't really a I guess it means this entire area is a prison room now. Uh Can you please Work on the wooden wall, because that's quite important. Jackie, can you... Already tending to skunk. Ah, oh, beautiful. Thanks, Jackie. She just knows. She just knows. Oh, wow. Poor boys. Chief at the Purple Ocean Kinships is a form of a collection of valuable items worth 1,600. Eight advanced components. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty tasty. Oh, that's real fucking close. Depending on how we do it, the incapacitated refugee, we may go straight to the item stash. Because we're not going to use the advanced comp components now, but they take a lot to make, and just having them is going to be real good. Wow, Assault Power X is really fucking loving going through the, uh, going through the mountains. Uh, what's your time? ETA 3.2. Time left three days. We might not make it in time. We'll just have to wait and find out. The snow is not going to be helping anything. God, that looks a lot better. It looks really, actually, it looks weird. I got used to the green colouring of the toxic fallout. And now it just kind of looks all kind of pale, too pale. Snow shouldn't be that white. Um, but it's over. That That's finally done. I don't believe anybody suffered that ill from the effects. A couple of initial builds up, but uh, build-ups, but that was it because I didn't even change their, um, their patterns of where they could go. It's just because we're mostly inside that it turns out we don't really need to watch out for the toxic fallout it will mean that there wasn't very many animals on the map that all have died to that so we might need to go around at some point soon and look for some more to see if we can hunt but for now we're doing okay apart from random breaks and and people getting pissy at other people we're, we're doing all right how close are we to the oh Four hours. Ah, oh, estimated time to destination, 0.7 days. If if Alex hadn't been wandering in sadness, we might have got there quicker. But we were too late. Well, since we're out here, we're going to go over to, to that anyway. That will take us 1.1 uh, days. How much food do we got? Ah, we're running on berries. Days of food, 1.5. When we get to the item stash, we're going to have to forage just a little bit. Do we have a good cook with us? I believe Snowman's a cook of some repute. Yeah, Snowman can cook. Okay. So this is turning into a longer trip, which is quite dangerous. And we missed out on the chance of that refugee. But, like, 
half a day. That's really annoying. Oh well. Alright, our caravan's arrived at destination. I've just realised, in fact, that one of the people doesn't actually have a weapon. Puck <laughs> is a shooter with no gun. So this could be interesting, as we're basically relying on a one revolver and one knife. Um, but we're just here for some components. We don't want to fight. Okay. We've got the components. That was all there is to it. We actually don't need to finish this wall because there's a perfectly good ba uh, little base here for us to, to rest in and try and gather some food. Holy shit! Puck was inspired whilst he was on this trip. Um, and apparently he was inspired to make a masterwork wooden bed. Oh my god. No art with it, which is a shame, but, you know, <laughs> that's pretty dope. Hey, there we go. Okay, we've got a little troop somewhere to stay that's warm-ish, and they've got beds in, which are actually quite nice beds. Probably better beds than we've got back at the base. Um, we just need to hole up, hunt a load of stuff, and start creating meals for the return journey. This will be worth the trip, those advanced components. Just got to try and make it so everyone comes back alive. Unfortunately, the one we, we couldn't save the one that we actually came for, but, you know, you can only do what you can do. Six hours later. Oh, look at that. Trash is breaking again. He's got food poisoning, so he's in intense pain. But the only reason he has food poisoning is because he broke the last time. So Star had to be our cook, who's not a very good cook, made shitty meals. So now he's pigging out on food as his, as his break. He's binging on the food that got him ill in the first place. Oh, this is so frustrating. Star, you need to go back to cooking because we've got no other meals. I was going to try and get Trash to cook at this point, but I can't now because... Because he's just eating all the food, the shit food. Ah, oh, I much prefer this little group over here. They're doing really fucking well. They, they know what's up. Have, you know, have a butch creature forever, and then you can cook shit forever, and that's perfect. We're going to start again. We're going to start with uh, Salt Power X, No Man and Puck. Everyone else irritates me. <laughs> uh. Good work, Alex. Over here, you guys have fucking broken so many times. For no real reason. At least we've got these berries. These berries are lifesavers. We've even got meals made. 258 berries goes a long way. Goes a long way. Trash. How are you, how are you doing? You're in an ugly environment. Well, if you fucking cleaned it up and stopped vomiting everywhere, you wouldn't be in an ugly environment. Uh, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is good. Hey, he's no longer picking out food. Well, maybe you can get some fucking meals made. Actually, you are slow as fuck. Moving 17%. Okay, fine. Just just go to sleep then. Take the simple meal and go to sleep. How many have we got made? Four. That'll last. That'll do. Yeah, vomit. That's good. Oh my god, Trash and Jackie are both so happy because of their catharsis. This this is good. This is very, very good. No one's going to break for a while. That was the problem with Trash's breaks earlier. A lot of them ended poorly for him. Well, so he was interrupted on, for example, on beating the crap out of Skunk because Skunk uh, got knocked down and so he couldn't continue. So he didn't get that catharsis. Now he has it, though. It's a lot better. <laughs> Group of tribes people are going to wait and then attack us. Um, okay, so there should only. Last time they attacked with five people when we only had three here, but it's not based on how many people you have at your base, it's based on what your value, value of your base is. So if we look at history, we can see the value of our base skyrocketed at some point, and that's when we sent our people away. Um, and they brought back food and, and wood and steel and shit. It's not that much higher than it was. So it's what, 41,000 to 48,000? Probably be five or six tribes people. We'll just have to set up a defense with our new mini steel turret we stole from that other base. We should be fine. 
Hey, they're beginning their assault. Let's get set up. People are in position. There's no extra tribes people to help us this time. We do have a turret though, so I'm I'm pretty sure we're fine. Oh, oh, gun down. Can we focus fire on the melee, please? You need to get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Right. Anyone fleeing, we'd like. <laughs> Annoying voiced, body purist, chemical fascination? No. Chemical fascination, kind? No. Chemical fascination is something I don't really get on with. Good. Nice stats, though. Social and intellectuals, good flame. To be honest, actually, both those are all right. You know, you're a fast walker, we're never going to catch you anyway. Let's just charge them down. Start, you can do some capturing. Oh, you have to reform the caravan now, everyone left behind will be abandoned. Well, mid-fight, <laughs> we also have to get rid of these guys. We have 2.1 days of food, that's actually quite a lot. I'm quite happy with that. We've got the raw meat if we really need to eat it. And I guess we just take everything else we can carry. Okay, choose routes, back here, four... 14.9 days. I guess now it's later in the year, the going over the mountain pass is still quicker. Oh, okay. I don't know why they want to go on the road. Does the road have better foraging? It might be because even though this is a shorter route, if you're moving through fewer tiles, there are less tiles to forage from. But I still want to go over the mountains, because that's uh, a much quicker ordeal. Okay, we've chosen our routes. Ten days. Probably going to take longer, because by the time we get to the harder parts near the mountains, uh, it'll take even longer, because it'll be later in the year. This could get hairy. Might have to stop. Might, might have to voluntarily stop, build some shelter, and um, do some more hunting. We'll find out, though, I guess. Okay, we ate, we did kill them instead of taking them prisoner, but oh well. Oh crap, we're in winter. I need to review my uh, my plan. Why does when whenever you set a caravan out, it says like it's going to take you 14 days to get there. This is only two. I wonder how long it would have taken over the road. Maybe it wouldn't have taken very long at all. Whatever. We have our, our time to get back. It says on the bottom left, 5.6 days, but according to these waypoints, only 1.78. In which case, our food supplies will last. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Okay, Puck, uh, Alex and Snowman only have 0 0.1 day of food left. Um, even though it doesn't tell, say they're going to get, take very long to get there, I believe we need to stop. We need to... Uh, oh, start resting. This is the following benefits. People can interact socially, forage for food two times faster, visibility multiplied by 30%. Oh, so can I not manually rest anymore? Okay, I think the settle option is meant to be used with caravans more frequently than... I actually want to kind of get into the next hex before I do the settle. But I think the settle option is doesn't just mean build a new home, it means build a temporary home as well. Whereas resting doesn't mean that. I don't particularly want to just forage... If I forage for food... Okay, we're going to wait for them to transfer into the next, next hex. 
Snowbound's caravan has run out of food, Puck Engineer. I, is that him telling me, or is that him being the next on the list to eat? Okay, if I rest now... We don't have any bedrolls. We really need bedrolls as well. We're still going to have zero uh, days of food. Still doesn't count as having enough food. We've even eat the, They've even eaten the meat raw as well. Okay, as it seems like the foraging doesn't really seem to be working, we're going to have to settle. See if we can make a little... We'll have to abandon this base immediately afterwards. Oh, that is beautiful. That is an absolutely beautiful sight. This is going to be tough for our intrepid heroes as we have no wood to build a base. So... How are we doing? Oh god, you're all really fucking low on food. Okay, actually no, Alex, you're not. Hunting buck. Beautiful start. If these attack us, then shit. Then just utter shit. <laughs> Ravenously hungry. Food poisoning as well, of course, because you ate fucking raw food, didn't you? Yeah, there you are. Shit. I should have stopped them before this. I should have stopped them when they had a little bit of food. How much wood do we have? 110. What, we, what? At least what we can do is... That's enough, I believe, actually. That's almost specifically enough for... Uh, a wooden butcher's table. And a fire. Well, it isn't going to give them a great place to sleep, but it'll give them food. If nothing else, we need the beds, like, fucking cozying up to this. Two of you can have sleeping spots on the ground. And what's the temperature around here? Does it change? It doesn't change at all. The fire does nothing. Unlike an actual campfire, if you're going out camping, this does nothing for the surrounding temperature. Uh, okay, butch creature, do forever. Snowman, please. Come on. Good, 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 good. There we go. Prioritize cooking. We have meals. Alex, get a meal. Puck, get a meal. Snowman, get a meal. Okay, we've at least gotten that far. Might make it. We need warm clothes. Yeah, think. You think Snowman might need more clothes? Oh, I'm a little chilly. Sleeping on snow. <laughs> How about you just have this, this bed, Snowman? You're the most important person because you're our cook right now. Hey, 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 hey. No. Bad thing. Puck, punch it. Good, good man, Puck. Do we have a, a medic? Oh, God, we've got no medic. <laughs> um, okay. I think we need to do the old self-healing Fear. What, what, what injuries? Yeah, you can't. You can't just take those and bleed to death. Oh, you don't bleed to death, but you'll get scars and that kind of shit. Well, that's irritating. Put can't self tend. He's not good enough at tending to self. Shit. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Thank you. <laughs> We're drawing all. Our meat shake is bringing all the girls to the yard. Uh, can we can we get can we get these these rats? Uh, yep. Yeah. And that one. Good job. Ah, oh, that's not good. Snowman has been bitten by rats and will die. Okay, so Puck, I need you to tend to him. I mean, we do actually have one medicine as well. He's going to butcher this, ironically, but still. How are there so many rats? I don't understand how there are so many rats. Get up and shoot them. No. They're, they're eating everything, goddammit! My god, we have amassed the biggest army of critters the world has ever fucking seen. Okay, we're kind of surviving-ish. <laughs> uh, kinda. Um, we have a lot of meat. Seven, actually, 76 isn't that much. We have a few bodies un 
butchered though. We should be able to survive, I think. Oh god, now we're drawing the big boys. Now all the rats and and like raccoons have come in. They're going to start to get wolves now. This is going to be more difficult. Um, but yes, we've, we've started to stabilize a little bit. Unfortunately, we're going to have to survive the winter, I believe, in this location. And next spring, which will be quite a while away, we'll make our way back to the suspicious cult for lost ones. That has mean that we have failed today's mission of fully mining out this area. We have fully smoothed this area, even though everyone went batshit crazy for like forever they were all pissy for the longest time we still managed to get all this done we'll next time transfer all the food over here and we'll finish this area and then we'll be perfect thank you everyone so much for watching hope you had a fantastic day and i'll see you guys next week we're getting there we're essentially getting there i'm just annoyed we didn't pick up that eighth person we still got two people to rescue crab and skunk but you know it'd have been nice to get somebody who just wanted to join i don't know Bye for now. Bye!